I have this clip from stock footage for free.com, free Ferrari sports cars, the original has red cars, I've selected the red color with the color mask with SC key fill, changed the saturation of the base video to minus one, no saturation, so that any color I overlay will be applied to the surface. This video isn't about that, it's about creating a color palette from any image or video and using the colors in the palette to replace the red color of the car in this clip. Add a color palette to effect. At the bottom is the color palette window. Directly above is the color capture region, a copy of the drop zone media. A brief overview of some of the controls. The target center applies the fine crosshairs through the center of the color capture region. You can show or hide the palette. Source X offset will move the image or video in the capture region left or right. Source Y offset will move it up or down and there is a rotation control. There is also an enlarge control to zoom in. Colors are scanned across the horizontal crosshair line. Line up your image across the line for the color picks you want to acquire. Add an image or video to the drop zone and arrange it accordingly. When first applied, there is no immediate reaction in the color palette. Move the playhead or change the samples to update the colors. Using an odd number of samples will guarantee the color under the crosshair is picked. The samples parameter is the number of color palette colors collected. You can collect as many as you want. You can adjust the sample width to align the colors, edge to edge, or maintain borders around the individual colors. To use the colors in the palette, left click select a color in the effects inspector for whatever effect you are using to call up the system picker. Resize the palette to move it more out of the way. Use the eyedropper tool in the picker to select a color in the palette. You can use this to build gradient color palettes if you use highlighter effects. Highlighter comes with highlighter gradient that can be saved as an effects preset, or use Command Shift 4 and capture the color palettes to a saved image. Thank you for watching. Please visit fcpxtemplates.com for your post-production needs.